Nikon's rumored upcoming Z63 mirrorless camera has sparked excitement and questions amongst photographers and videographers. As the successor to the already highly capable Z62, will the Mark III truly push technological boundaries? Or is it more of the same repackaged into a marginally improved model? On paper, the Z63 sets out ambitious goals faster speed, better autofocus, more advanced video, and refined handling. Headline features include a new back illuminated 33 megapixel sensor, XSpeed 7 processor enabling 40 FPS burst shooting, 120 FPS in DX crop, upgraded autofocus with deep learning for enhanced subject tracking uncropped DCI 4K 60p video with N-Log, and an overhauled body design inspired by the Z9. These targets clearly aim the Z63 as a premier hybrid camera for multimedia creators. But a deeper analysis reveals potential limitations that cast doubts on true innovation versus familiar marketing gimmicks. Take the sensor for example a jump to 33 megapixels falls closely in line with the megapixel war among camera brands vying for top spot resolutions. And while back illuminated designs improve light capture, noise reduction seems incremental at best judging by the Z7IA's minor gains over the Z7. So is the sensor more of a numbers game for marketing? The boost to 40 FPS burst shooting also rings familiar. While useful for catching peak action, the electronic shutter risks distortion artifacts. And the Z9 already reaches this speed with a stacked sensor, raising questions if the Z63 cuts corners on quality for speed's sake alone. The autofocus 2 touts deep learning advancement, but Nikon already utilizes such AI tech successfully in other models. So while algorithm refinements are welcome, it's debatable whether a true breakthrough occurs here. Most intriguing is the video capabilities. Uncropped oversampled 4K 60p shows promise to rival mirrorless leaders like the Sony A7S III and Canon R5C but lacks details around codec limitations, record limits, rolling shutter, or HDMI output call spec boasts into question. Is the Z63 more style over true video substance? Handling refinements also follow the familiar playbook add chunky grips, giant EVFs, and plenty of FN buttons. These iterative ergonomic tweaks bolster usability but break little new ground. Now this isn't to overly criticize Nikon's efforts here the Z63 remains an impressive achievement if specs hold true, representing a capable hybrid camera option. But analysis reveals more evolution than revolution in its goals using familiar resolution bumps, speed boosts, AF buzzwords, and video jargon as alluring but predictable marketing catnip. The rumored $2,500 price tag also positions the Z63 awkwardly undercutting higher-end models like the Z7 II, while leaving little incentive for actual professionals to upgrade over the existing Z62. It appeals squarely at enthusiasts seeking bragging rights to the latest tech more so than shooters needing true innovation to push creative boundaries. So perhaps the verdict on the Z63 boils down to how much one buys into improved number figures versus evaluating actual real-world technological advancements beyond a simple specs race. There's excitement no doubt but signs also point closer to polished iteration over groundbreaking innovation. Only final production models will tell if Nikon truly pushes forward or simply repackages another familiar tune. For now, the Z63 walks a fine line between showcasing new cutting-edge capabilities versus offering minor but predictable refinements to what already works. Gimmicky or not, only time will tell. Consider subscribing for more technological news like this and thanks for watching.